Okay everybody, welcome back to Learn With Minecraft Education. I've had my hands on the new 1.17 beta for about a week now, and today's video is going to be all about just going through a few of those highlights, some of the things that I've enjoyed the most, and a few things that maybe didn't realize would be in the new update. So, without any further ado, let's dive in and take a look. Okay guys, so let's take a look at some of these really cool features. We're going to first of all look at powdered snow, uh, which comes in this awesome ice bucket. And as you can see, it's like a trap, this one. It's like a trap block. So if you're in there a little while, your screen starts to freeze up around the edges. And at the bottom there, you start to lose health. Uh, those hearts are going down at the bottom. It's pretty tricky to get out of. You can obviously mine a couple of blocks away. One of the things that you can do to protect yourself is put some leather, any leather armor on. And as you can see, drop in there, keeps you totally cozy and warm, which is uh, exactly what we're going for. The other thing, it's got some goats spawning here. The goats are really cool. They've got a lot of cool additional features that some of the other animals don't have that make them, in my opinion, adorable. And it's this little jumping around, these little random jumps that they do. But every now and again, they just slam into you. You have to stand still for a little while to get them to do it, but they will do it to other mobs as well. And you do get these, you'll hear them shortly. Um, there's like a small percent chance, I think it's 1%, that you will get one of these crying goats. They're a bit more aggressive. There's a goat up in a tree there. I mean, that's why we love goats. Goats in the rain. And they're attacking me and the pig. They're attacking the pig as well. Oh, we've got to get rid of the zombie though. Uh, but yeah, we love goats. We love goats. Now, the next thing are these awesome light blocks. Now, on the overview of new items, this was not included on the Minecraft Education website, but I knew it was included on 1.17 for the other version, so I'll take a look, and it's give at s light underscore block, and we've got this really cool, uh, it's kind of a world builder. You don't need world builder enabled, but it's good for designing your own levels and so on. So you put down a, one of these light blocks, right click to increase the brightness of it, it goes all the way up to 15, and the icon, uh, the item icon changes there as well. But if you deselect it in your hotbar, it disappears. The light still stays there. Deselect it and it will disappear uh, so the player won't know they're there. Obviously axolotls, aren't they, um, are in here. A lot of people raving about these. They're, they're, they're pretty cute. I'll admit it. I like them. They're fun. Uh, but one of the things you maybe didn't know is if you leave them out of water for long enough, they start to lose health. And, you know, in the interest of science, I'm going to let this one perish. Uh, normally wouldn't do that. They will expire. And there we go. Poor axolotl uh, passing away. But we're going to resurrect um, a friend of his and try something else out as well. And we've got a cute little pink axolotl here. And you can put him in a bucket, uh, a water bucket, it has to be a water bucket, and you get this cool icon, you got the axolotl poking out the top of the bucket there, which is pretty cute, when you're holding that in third person it looks pretty cute as well. Now we are going to release this axolotl into the water and uh, watch it swim for freedom. Apparently uh, they will be kind of come endeared towards you if you do this, although this one doesn't seem interested, it's just swimming off, so hey. The next thing is copper blocks. Uh, now copper blocks, as they're exposed to the elements, will start to rust and weather. As you can see, that's happening here. But what you may not know is that chunks of copper blocks nearer each other weather a little bit slower. So you put a big block of them there and it take a while longer. So if you want your um, copper blocks to weather quickly, separate them. Here we have two copper blocks. One has got a honeycomb, a bit of wax on it on the left there, and it actually stops it from weathering. If you get an ax, you can scrape that off and it will, hopefully, yeah, it starts weathering. So you can use the ax to scrape off the wax. Now the other thing are these small uh, drip plants here. And these are pretty cool. You can plant these in shallow water and uh, moist areas. But we're going to use some bone meal to grow them up. They get really tall. They turn into the big, big drip leaves and get even bigger than a normal drip leaf. You can then use them. You can use redstone uh, to stop the drip leaf from kind of depressing, from kicking whatever's on top of it off. And uh, I'll try and demonstrate that now. So we've got some redstone and a lever there. Turn that on. And uh, if we jump on the top here of the drip leaf, nothing happens it doesn't drop down which is you know maybe for some level design ideas that's pretty cool anything that implements redstone uh, we like here that's good so we'll turn that off and just demonstrate how the drip leaf works normally and you can see there it kind of does it lowers its leaf down and anything any items or anything on it will fall off so that little redstone um, signal there stopping it from doing that which is pretty cool right um, now we've got drip stone and we've got the ones growing up from the floor. We can put them on the floor and make them huge. We can make them as big as we want. I think it's stalag, 
mites, the one that grow from the floor. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's stalagmites and stalactites are the ones that come down. Uh, but we are going to test out to see what happens if you land on these. I heard there was a new uh, death message. No, it just says you died. I think it might be in Java edition, but you can certainly get a little message in, in, in some versions of scene that says you fell onto a dripstone, you died there. And it's the same, I want to test out if you die in powdered snow, if you get a special message there, because I think you do in Java. I think that was one of the changes. And no, unfortunately, in education edition, you don't get any of the messages about how you die. But let's go ahead and look at some candles. So you can place up to four of these candles. You can light one with the flint and steel and then place more and they're not lit, which is pretty cool, I think. And then if you try and light them all at once. Uh, yeah, and obviously something's awesome. You can get a cake and put a candle in the, minute, in the middle of the cake. I guess if it's someone's birthday, you can celebrate it. Oh, I'm setting the world on fire. Let's get in on this. Yeah, you can set your candle alight when it's on top of the cake. That's a nice touch, I think. You couldn't do that um, previously. So I'm going to super quickly just like blast through all of these items. These are all of the items that come in 1.17 update. This is all of the netherite stuff, target blocks and a few different mobs and stuff like that. Uh, and I'll come soon to all of the caves and cliffs. I've got a strider there as well. And this is really just to highlight quite how many items there are. I won't go through all of these, but we've got these, uh, these like glow, I don't know. Yeah, there they are. They come out of, we'll get to them in a minute. Glow ink sacks. And the thing I like about these, you can use the glow ink sack to light up text on a board, which I think is cool. I really like that. We've got this spark, lightning rod. Here comes a lightning rod. We've set a storm going. And uh, yeah, the lightning rod is uh, attracting that. And that will send off a redstone signal as well. So pretty useful for Bill. has got the spyglass, which zooms in on stuff, which is pretty interesting. The axolotl there, always a popular addition. We've got to zoom in on him with the spyglass and so on. We've got the glow squid there stuck. It's trying to get away from us, but it can't. So um, look, we've got loads and loads of really interesting new items and we couldn't cover them all. There's some really amazing videos that do cover them all in extreme detail. Uh, but I just wanted to cover a few of my highlights after having the beta for a week. I do not know how long it's going to be before this is pushed out uh, to all users of Minecraft Education. I, I imagine they're still waiting for a little bit of feedback. So if you have downloaded the beta and you've spotted a few unusual things or things that you think could be improved or a little bit wrong, do let the people over at Minecraft Education know and I'm sure they will be able to uh, maybe sort that out before the full version is pushed out, okay? Uh, just a little disclaimer, I'm not in any way associated with the Minecraft Education team, just a teacher who's putting some information online for everybody. But we are going to have to finish the video there, I'm afraid. If you enjoyed today's video, please do like and subscribe, and I will see you all next week. Yeah.